Some farms and ranches treasure the fact that they have spanned several generations. They're celebrated for their fidelity to the land. But I expect, as the years went by, there's been many an argument over the type of cattle that they should be running to keep up with the times. You're not gonna keep her still, are you, Dad? She must be 12 years old. Ah, I reckon she's closer to 14 now and naturally half polled. You mean she was sired by a hornless bull? No, she just got one horn, which makes her half polled, or better yet, makes her half unicorn. She could be half clam if your logic's right. I mean, clams don't have any teeth. You're changing the subject. We're talking about horns, and one, she wasn't bequeathed. She could be half deer and just shed one of them off while grazing through the wire. And checking this eye, man might conclude that a cyclops was her sire. Oh, and her stumbling skip is like a circus horse, always taking a bow. <laughs> Son, you're overlooking her greatest trait. Why, well, she's a gated cow. Let's see, a half-pole cyclops with teeth like a clam, a gated cow to boot? Hey, why don't you start a new registered breed? Call it the Rudy Toot. Yeah, half the pink eye, more room at the bunk, and easier to ride. Rudy Toot breeders will flock to your door. Dad, don't you have any pride? You're only looking to find an excuse to keep her on the place. I'll have you know, I make my decisions on cost in every case. And while you were babbling and rattling on trying to vilify, I decided to keep her one more year. And you're the reason why. Because being the practical man that I am, I say, waste not, want not. See, I saw you give her that vitamin A and I'd hate to waste that shot. This is Baxter Black from out there.